Welcome back, Microbytes. My name is Jonathan, and I am the children's librarian here at the Ashburton Public Library. Uh, in today's session, we are going to be coding um, for the Micro McQueen robot, and we're going to be utilizing the ultrasonic sensors on the front of the robot. Uh, these are the big, uh, big eyes for the robot, or it looks like eyes on the robot. Um, they are ultrasonic sensors, so it can detect uh, objects in the room, sort of like your Roomba, your um, robotic vacuum cleaner that runs around in your in your house. Uh, that when it sees an object, it will turn randomly and go off in a different direction. So essentially, that's what we're creating here. So what I want you to do is I want you to create a new project, and we're going to give it a name. So I'm going to call it Ultrasonic. Sensors well, two in this case because I already created one just to have a bit of a play around. So ultrasonic sensors. So you create a new project there. Um, now in this uh, in this project, you will not need the on start block, so you can get rid of that straight off the bat. Um, but what you will need is you'll need to pop down here into extensions which if you might not be open, it's under advanced, right down the bottom is extensions. And in the top part here, if you search for McQueen, you'll be given two options, and we are using the first option, the basic uh, McQueen robot, as that's what we have here at the library. So that adds the McQueen uh, coding blocks into our tray. Now, in this uh, in in this set of coding, we're going to be sort of laying blocks upon blocks, so it gets a little bit fiddly. Um, so bear with me today. Um, so the first thing you're going to need is a logic block. You're going to need an if block. And put that in the top there. Uh, you're going to need an and block. So back into logic and find the and. And we are also going to require an equals. Oops, the top one there. And we're going to need two of that. Let's just copy and paste that twice. Right, now we are going to need our first McQueen block, and we're going to need read ultrasonic sensors. So we're going to need two of that one as well. Okay. So what we're saying is, when the ultrasonics read some uh, read that there's an object within a certain range, so we want to say anything less than 15 centimeters, 15 centimeters, and zero. So we're going to just change this this H symbol here means not equal to zero, because uh, essentially zero is well, it's already touching it, so it doesn't work. So between 15 and 0 centimeters, I want you to do something. So what do we want it to do? Well, the first thing we need to say is we need to create a variable. We need to create a variable called item. So well, object, you could say object or item. And see item 2. And we want a math block. We want pick random, true or false. So the reason why we want the true or false block now, just before I go too much further, I understand that's a round hole and this is a diamond shape. Um, it does fit. It does fit there. There is a few sort of um, exceptions to, to a number of rules in, the, in this program. Um, now the reason why we want to pick random true or false is because we don't want it only to turn in one direction when it detects an object. Um, we want it to sort of randomly choose left or right and to give it sort of the best chance of being able to get itself out of um, out of a tight spot. Because uh, if it only turns in one direction, it will have more chance of getting stuck. Um, right, now we need another if block. Oops, pop it in here, there we go. And we need another equals block. And in this equals block, we're saying item, so back into variables, grabbing the item block. So if the item is 
and this is where we say true or false. Grab that from down there. So if the item is true, we want to turn in a particular direction. So to do that, we need to grab our motors block out of the McQueen tray. So we want motors. We only need two of those. Now, to turn left. To turn left, we actually need to turn the left motor backwards. It's a little bit of um, it's a reverse, thing, reverse psychology here. Um, so to turn left, you want to go left motor backwards and right motor forwards. You can put that at full speed, it doesn't matter. Okay, so when you're turning the left motor backwards and the right motor forwards, it means that it's going to turn on the spot, which is handy because you don't want it to do an arc around one wheel. Um, otherwise, it's going to kind of give it more chance of getting snagged on something. So we want least the least chance of getting caught on any, any object that comes across. So turning a spot is, is a good idea. Uh, and then we need to go for what happens if it's false. We want it to turn in the opposite direction. So if you just highlight that if block series there um, and copy and paste that and just chuck that oops underneath that gap there uh, and say false and we're making this around the other way so we're going to say left motor goes forward and right motor goes backwards and that way it will actually turn right it will turn to the right in that uh, instance there um, the last thing we need to do, uh, actually, is we need to add in a pause block. Um, now, where was pause? Sorry, there it is. Now, this gives... So, I should have put this in slightly earlier, but that's all right. Put one in that one as well. Um, this really just gives it an allotment of time before it does the next piece of code. Um, what I found was 300 milliseconds is a good amount of time for it to turn, um, not too far, but just enough to sort of help it find a different direction. Um, but you can you can play with the allotment of time there. Uh, but 300 milliseconds was pretty good, I found. Um, so you want to put one. Uh, under both of those, just so that way it basically what it's saying is so if it chooses true, it turns in this case to the left um, for 300 milliseconds and then it will do what we're about to say next. Um, so the last thing we need is if we put a little plus on that, it will say else. So if the if it detects an item or object. Uh, between 15 and 0 centimeters from the robot, then it will go true or false, or choose left or right essentially, and it will spin left or spin right. Or else, if it can't see anything, if it, if it doesn't detect anything, it will do this. Um, and what do we want it to do? We want it to drive straight ahead. So we want it to, sorry, move, grab that, whoops. And we can actually, we don't need two of those, we can just say all. So all motors forward add 255. We don't need a pause for this one because remember we're actually say, stating that forever do this. So if, as long as it can't detect an object, it will forever move forward at 255, speed 255, which is nice. To be honest, it's not the fastest robot in the world, but it will trundle along until it detects an object within its range and then that way it will randomly choose left or right and then try and work its way up. Cool, alright, I hope you enjoy uh, playing with your McQueen robot there um, and we'll see you in the next episode. Alright, ka kite.